Hello everybody and welcome to your programming network's new series of web design tutorials. Now these tutorials are going to go through the very basics from HTML and just simple web pages to more advanced styling with CSS all the way through to more complex codes like PHP and JavaScript and to give you kind of dynamic web pages and also reference databases and servers. Uh, these tutorials, I'm going to be working them on a Mac, uh, but that doesn't shouldn't put you off if you're using Windows or Linux, because the the code that I'm going to use is going to be usable on all platforms. Uh, so don't fret, keep keep watching, and you you'll still be able to to go along with it, and it will still work on your computer. So let's get started then. Uh, the the basics of a web page are when you put in your URL to the top of your internet browser it's going to send off a request to the serv server of that URL, in this case Google and then Google is going to return back a document which contains the web page that you want to look at. So we're going to build our own web page, so let's close off of this and the way you do this is very simple. You can just do it in a normal text editor on your computer. So I'm going to use a text edit, which is just a basic one that comes with the Mac. And if you're on Windows or Linux, just use a, any text editor, so Notepad or something similar. And first thing we want to do is just we need to make sure that this is in plain text, we don't want rich text. So just go to Format and then make plain text. If you're on Windows or Linux then just make sure that it's in plain text. Uh, if you don't know how to do that then just stick it into Google and it will show you how to. And then we can save this down, so let's just File Save and then let's go to our Tutorials folder wherever you might do it. If you haven't got one then I would suggest making one. Uh, and then let's just save this down and we want to put it as um, I've already got index.html um, I'll just overwrite that one. So save and it's going to ask you whether you want to keep it as text or use .html. You want to use .html and I'm going to replace the file that already exists. So now I've got a blank HTML file ready to start putting in my HTML code. So to start off that, let's just write in HTML. That just lets the, docu the browser know that our document is in HTML. And then at the bottom, just put forward slash HTML down there. Don't worry about too much about what I'm doing here, just make sure you're copying it. All I want to do is just get you so that you've got the tools you require to make your web page. We'll explain everything in later tutorials. So then just uh, put in body and then hello world and then forward slash body. And then let's save this down. If we go back into our finder and go to our tutorial and we open it up and it opens up in Safari and it's going to have our Hello World here. So uh, you'll notice that um, despite having all of this text in here in our editor, um, it's not coming through on here and that's because these are just tags that HTML uses to inform the browser of what information it's about to pass it and where it needs to put it. So we'll come into them more in later tutorials. Uh, but your web page should be coming through just saying hello world. If you're bringing the tags through then you haven't done your format and plain text so just make sure that that's done properly and it will come through. Uh, and then that's our first web page. Admittedly it's not uh, brightly coloured and beautifully formatted or have any kind of functionality but that is what we need to get to to start off with. So if you've managed to to get that done then congratulations on your your first web page. Uh, in the next tutorial we're going to carry on going into this and I'm just going to show you how you can download a slightly better text editor. So thanks for listening I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.